Hi guys, this is Big Fear from Big Fear TV. Once again, I'm back with another short video. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all the most have application for the Galaxy Note 8. This is one way of me showing y'all what I have in my Galaxy Note 8. So without wasting much time, let's go through those applications. The first on the list is what I call the backdrop. Backdrop is for me is the best application for wallpaper where you can get a lot of beautiful colorful uh, wallpaper So this application is so good when it comes to downloading wallpaper and one best thing is that it gives you Wallpaper of the day, which is this one. So you can use this for example It's very simple to apply or to set this one as a wallpaper. You simply click on set It takes about two to three seconds and automatically it is set as a wallpaper as you can see right here I got this so this is there are also tons there are so many different colorful wallpapers that you can download from backdrop so for me this is the best wallpaper uh, application that you can download the next application on the list is called amulet this application simply gives you a type of black background with a little bit of animation when you get into it you click on open that's how it looks like it gives you this animation that keeps doing this and it follows the touching of the screen for example if we touch on the top it keeps going that's how it moves when you allow it it spread all over the screen so to set this out you simply click on set as wallpaper you choose either home screen or home screen and lock screen so if i'm using it for example home screen and lock screen you're gonna have it just like this as you can see it's now on my home screen so let's move on to the next application on the list is called Blacker, which is it right here. Blacker is a great wallpaper application for those who love black background or dark wallpapers. And it's also good for those who own Galaxy phones with an AMOLED screen. So when you get into Blacker, there are different categories that you can choose from. We have newly added abstract AMOLED. So if you get into AMOLED, for example, it gives you mostly dark screen applications that you can download just like this gives a lot of black or dark screen wallpaper that you can use and when you choose for example you choose this one you click on set as wallpaper click into home screen now you have a complete black background so you can set as just like that as you can see the next on the list is uh, YouTube Studio. This is good for especially those who own a YouTube channel. With this application, you can see all your activities that's going on. You can have a little bit of uh, conversation and chatting with your fans or your subscribers. So this application, you can see your revenue, your discovery, your audience, especially everything. You can see the, the analysts, like what is going on in your YouTube channel, how many subscribers are you having. So this application is very good for especially for those who own a YouTube channel. So as you can see, this is mine here, giving me the status of what is going on. Is it the number of subscribers going down, the number of views increasing, stuff like that. It gives you automatically everything about your YouTube channel. Now, let's move on to the next one. The next on the list is YouTube Gaming. This is good for those who love playing games or the gamers out there. These applications for y'all. With this application, you can get in contact with those who are online, playing online. You can get into playing with others. You can download other games right here. And the best thing about this is that you can play games and connect it directly online for people to see how you're playing at the same moment when you're playing. It goes live. So this application is really good for all the gamers out there. As you can see, it gives you what is going on, who is playing game live right now. It gives you all the information and all the different type of games that you can download. So it's a very good application, especially for gamers, YouTube gaming. The next, the next application on the list is for editing videos. It's called the Kind Master right here. This application is very good in editing videos, especially those who like to edit videos on their smartphone or just edit a short video to post on Instagram or Facebook. It's very easy to use with Kind Master. You simply turn your phone on a landscape, just like this. And when it's on landscape, the first thing you gotta do is to click on the red button right here. 
And once you're in, it gives you two possibilities. Either uh, editing it on project assistance or empty project. You click on project assistance just like this. You write the title, for example, uh, so that's the title. You click on OK. The next thing you gotta do is to select the videos that you wanna edit. You look for the different videos. For example, click two. You click on next down here. And you choose the type of themes that you want. On We have three themes right here. The on stage, the screen, or the travel. Let's take for example on stage. You click on next. And it gives you the possibility of putting some text in between the videos. If you wanna put some text on the opening of the video, in the middle of the video, or the ending of the video, then you continue. You choose also the, different, the song that you want in the background, and that's the last thing, you continue. Now, as you can see, it automatically uh, edit the video for you. Everything is being done instantly. If there was any text that you wanted, everything is gonna be there, the song's gonna be on the background, and when you're through, you simply click on save, and you save it. So this is a very good application for editing videos. Now let's move on to the next one. So the next on the list is called the RecForge 2. This is a great application for recording of audio. And the best thing about this application is that it records audio in high quality. And it also records audio in stereo mode. So you simply click on the red button right here and it start recording. And when you're done recording, you click, you can either pause or you stop the recording. So if you pause it, it means you can continue from where you stop or you can, when you're done recording, you click on stop and autom automatically save in your, uh, in your internal memory. Or if you don't want it, you can delete it right here. So this is a good application for recording of audio or maybe those who make videos somewhere and want to add a recording in the background of the, uh, the video, this application is good for y'all. So let's move on to the next one. The next application on the list is called the Peak Ad. It's mostly used for uh, editing photos, especially when you want to do some good thumbnail for videos on YouTube. You use this application. It gives you automatically everything that you want to use. Um, gives you a lot of awesome stickers, daily remix, and a lot of artworks that you can use to edit your photos. So this application is very good for editing of photos. It's called the Peak Ads. Now let's go on to the next one. Now the next on the list is called Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. This is it right here. It's a great application for editing of photos. When you get into it, it's very easy to use. You simply click on add photos right here. And you can choose the different photos that you want to set into the program. Once you're done, you realize that there are different photos that you choose from here or photos. You click on it. You choose one photo that you want to edit and down here we have light, color, effect, optic, the, 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 the preset, cropped or selective. So for example, you choose on light, you can increase the exposure or you can increase the contrast, the highlight or you can move to colors to increase the temperature, change the temperature, change the vibrance. You can also cha change the saturations of the photos. So that a lot of this is a good application, especially when it comes to editing landscape photo or photo of a particular area. This is a great application for all of that. Now, let's okay, the next on the list is called Netflix. Netflix and chill. So this application is good for watching movies or your favorite series. And the best thing about it is that when you subscribe, the first month is free. As you can see, this is a new one that I downloaded because I have it on my tablet and my laptop. I use it, I've, I use my free uh, one month subscription, but right now I paid a little bit, not too much. It's very good to have all your favorite series and favorite movies. So this is a great application for watching of videos, especially movies and series, Netflix. And the next on the list is called Spotify. I know you all knows about Spotify. A lot of you guys out there knows about Spotify. It's a great application for listening of audio music. And the best thing about this is that you can use music for your workout. For example, if you're going to the gym, you can simply search for gym music or music for the mood, the pop music, chill music, uh, romance, party music, or focus music, music to sleep, 
electronics, uh, decade, workout. So this is my favorite of all the different music right here. When you get into your workout music, you can choose the best that one. For example, I like working out like a beast. You get into the beast mode. It gives you the variety of uh, songs in a playlist where you can enjoy while doing your workout. And they are very good music, good workout music. So that's my favorite, the workout music, especially the beast mode. And so this application is called Spotify. It's very good for listening of audio music, your favorite songs. You can find every different type of songs here in Spotify. Let's move on to the next one. The ne so the next on the list is called Viber right here. This is a great application for making audio and video calls, especially long distance video and audio calls on the, using the internet. It's a very good application. It's my favorite when it comes to making video calls with friends or loved ones. So this is a great application. It's called Viber and very easy to use. A lot of nice stickers that you can download and use. So it's a very good application that I recommend if you're making a long distance calls, video or audio calls, you should download Viber. Now let's move on to the next one. The next on the list, it's called the Samsung Internet Browser. This is the best browser, on my opinion, is the best browser because there are a lot of things that you can do on this browser. For example, you have the night mode. The night mode is very good, especially when you're browsing in the night in order to avoid the too much light in your eyes, the night mode. And it's very fast, very secure, and has a good uh, security system. And the best ad, uh, advertisement blocker is on this browser. It's called the Samsung Internet Browser. It's very good. And the next on the list is called English Offline Dictionary. This is a great dictionary, especially for students. This dictionary, the best thing about it is the fact that you can use it even when there is no internet connection. So you can search whatever words you want. It gives you a full explanation, the meaning. For example, let's go with hello. As you can see, it gives you a full explanation. It also gives you the different meaning in other languages. It can give you in French language, in German, in Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish. It gives you the words in other languages and a full explanation, full meaning. And the best part about it is the fact that you can use it offline. And now the last on the list is called Squid, which is right here. Squid, like the sea animal. This application is great for taking down of notes on all the note devices, especially the Note 8 and the Tab S3. This application gives you a different format in which you can take notes, either in a plain background or different lines, the different type of lines that you can use to take down notes. Or into, if you're in, uh, into engineering and math work, there are different types of pages that you can use. So for example, let's take for example a plain background, a line with lines just like this. You can choose the different colors that you want, the different colors, red, brown, green, whatever color you want to use. So let's go with the traditional blue. So you can write with it like, hello, or you can increase the size of the writings to be bigger, just like this. You can make it big, more bigger than this. So that's it. It's called the script. So this is all about the different must-have applications for your Galaxy Note 8. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe, the subscribe button. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.